Hey everyone, Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Welcome to the January Night, and Night Angels video hop for this month. We are concentrating on celebration products. These are products you can earn in Australia for every $90 purchase and there is an amount that you need to purchase in each of our markets to get some of these products for free. So the product I am concentrating on today is our watermelon watercolor melon stamp set i've created this card and we're going to go through that today there are some additional products that i have used besides celebration products and i've also used the softly sophisticated embossing folder so the watermelon watercolor melon is free with 90 dollars a softly sophisticated you get this with a stamp set um and it is free with 180 dollar purchase so they are the two um celebration products i'm using today as well as the two inch circle punch the scallop contours dies i am using and just some inks and some paper so i will go through everything as we use it so let's start and make this card so i have already started i had done two of these watermelon slices i have lost one so together we are going to stamp two more now the colors that i am using today are garden green and sweet sorbet so i'm starting with garden green i'm just going to pop this aside so i don't lose anything and pop all this over here so we have some space i have put these stamps onto blocks so i can go just like so and doing two and then we shall hand cut them out so i've got our two rinds and i'm just going to grab a pair of scissors to close this and there is another stamp set that we're using that i didn't grab out it's our heartfelt hellos so that is where our sentiment comes from this is meant to go with the heartfelt hexagon stamp set but for today i have paired it with the two inch circle punch so to um create this uh, watermelon i am just doing it all by eye you could use a stamp positioner if you prefer i'm really happy for this to be a little bit more um, freeform and fun and not so precise so there is the main part of our watermelon i will just close our sweet sorbet put this here and i'm going to add in our seeds so our seeds are images and we've got three seeds and a single seed and together they are going to create the perfect amount of seeds let's see if i can actually open this ink pad it's like it's suctioned together so i stamp this group of three twice so i go once then i go twice well oh, missed one okay there we go a little bit of a shadow there but that's fine once and twice if you hear a little voice in the background my grandson is here but i wanted to take this opportunity while he's playing with the rest of the family to share this card with you so this single one just really nestles in perfectly between that and i think that just finishes it off nicely so now pop the lid back on my stays on i've got one here i'm going to grab i have issues with my hands so i have some sprung scissors which help me immensely okay i will have to stamp 
that hello in a second but just want to cut these out and know I have them and if I happen to find the the one that I lost we will just add four to my card if not I'm going to have an extra when it turns up for another project so that's one cut let's go to cut go straight across there I know I'm a little close to this edge but we can make it happen so just go here perfect and these slices really do just do a whole lot of fun so I've used sweet sorbet I would love for you to tell me in the comments what Stampin' Up! colours you would use for watermelon slices because there is another project I would love to share using different colours of watermelon slices so tell me what other colours you would use and I will do them in a video and show you so I do have a spare piece because I do have all my pieces prepped a spare piece to stamp our hello on so just grab that out this is once again a free with $90 spend and I just love that we have such variance in our sentiments and also in our fonts I love that dad your best isn't particularly Father's Day so here in Australia we don't have Father's Day until September so the dad you're the best I've already used that on a card or two and it's just great for any occasion so a thank you card, a birthday card, you can use it on anything. Our Mother's Day is in May. So I'm just punching this hello out using our two inch circle punch. So that is all my stamping done. Next, what I wanted to show you is how I take this garden green, if I can pick it up this garden green piece of paper and I'm going to make it look like the skin of a watermelon so you can see there we have those lines okay so I'm just going to pop these two together I'm going to go here I do need to grab a scrap piece of paper so just something I've used a bazillion times before. I have bought in one of our Stampin' Right markers. This is in Garden Green, so it is matching colour. I am going to use a brush end. Now this is a little dry, but for this technique, it really doesn't matter. And would you believe now, since I've used this earlier, it is less dry so I'm just going in and adding lines they don't need to be straight as you can see mine are not straight and I'm not going straight down I am using the whole length of the brush to give us a thicker line so that is that piece done so we've got four of our elements done the next element I want to do is our embossed background. So that's using the Softly Sophisticated. And I'm just going to pop all these pieces together and just pop them under here so I know exactly where they are. So grabbing our card front. So this is half a centimetre or a quarter of an inch smaller than the card the card base so I'm just going this is a 3d embossing folder so I'm going to open it up and try to get this as even as I can so I can line up all the dots close it 
and I can see I've just lined up these dots at the bottom and then the dots on the side and that is as straight as I am going to get it I'm going to bring in our stamp and cut and emboss machine so what I have in here is our base plate number one and our number four plate so on here for a 3d embossing folder it tells me I need plate one and plate four so I'm going to pop this through nice and easy it feels like it's a little bit of pressure but not too much but would you believe it embosses deeply and beautifully and you feel like you're putting no pressure on that at all okay so pop that down beside me and take this out now we are up to assembling our card because we've done really well and got all our prep done beforehand so that's the embossing folder and it gives you this gorgeous uh, pin prick as if you're using a pin on the paper and it just gives a very nice, it's only thin but I feel it just elevates the card. So let's get all of our pieces here and this is our Sweet Sorbet card base. I'm going to take our multi-purpose glue and we are going to glue this down trying not to squeeze too hard on this because this is a brand new glue bottle that i opened today <laughs> so we could have a little bit of disaster if i squeeze too hard like i have been with my uh, bottle that i finished earlier today Okay, so that's that down. Just going to hold it there for a second or two. Now, next, I've got our garden green piece, which I'm going to mat with our faux watermelon skin piece. So, this faux watermelon skin piece is about two centimeters smaller than our card base. And then I've just got a little bit more to make the mat just so we're getting the repeat of that color going all the way throughout the project so let's see here i cut that fairly well i didn't check it does not have to be perfect but i just want to see some of that color coming through now, if I could just wiggle this one just a bit, that will be perfect. That's pretty close. Now, I have this scallop contour die just to give a little bit of interest to um, the middle section of our card. This is just going on flat, but I am going to pop it on on an angle. So just to be a little bit of fun and interest, popping that down flat, just like so. Now we are going to take our final few elements and I do need my dimensionals. So what I want to do, just pop the hello to the side. I want to work out... <clears throat> Please excuse my froggy throat here. Okay. So I just want to put two there. And the middle one, I want to be on dimensionals. So let's get these done. Pop that up there. Okay. So just two dimensionals on this one. <clears throat> right on the hello while we're going i will pop it three just to make a balanced i always find if i put two it can sometimes be saggy on the sides but if i put three it just gives us a little more balance and support to our piece 
even though it is cardstock. Great. So I've got that. I'm going to glue these ones down. Okay. So I want it to go off the actual scallop contour and that just then brings all the layers together whoop drop the glue come on try this again please don't clog all right there we go playing nicely this one might just go over the edge there then I'll grab our take your pick tool with the crafters tips. I just love this little hook for grabbing these. And I'll put this one on a jaunty angle but covering both. So we've got that connection with all of those watermelon pieces there. And now we are going to pick this one up, pop this just down here. So love that. That one's done. And I'm going to stick this flat to the card. So if you wanted to put this on a jaunty angle, that would work. Or you could keep it square like I have done in the original card. I'm thinking I might try a jaunty angle. I'm going to cap my glue now because we are all done. I just love how fun this card is. Any, oh, that was a really good save. Did get a little bit of glue on my hand, but I was definitely able to save it. So maybe I want to go jaunty like this. Maybe. There we go. That's a bit of fun. And you actually see a little bit more of the background pattern going with a jaunty angle. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of our iridescent discs. Now these are actually in Poppy Parade, but... They just worked really well with the tones of Sweet Sorbet that we have used in this card. And it was just the perfect, perfect finishing touch. So while I'm finishing this off, I do hope you can visit everyone else doing the video hop this month. I can't wait to see what products what celebration products everyone is using so just to recap the things i have used today i've used the heartfelt hello stamp set for our sentiment the watercolor melon for our melons i did use a marker to create the watermelon skin background sorry we just need a bit more pressure here because we're going on to an embossed background now that embossed background is the softly sophisticated which does come with a matching stamp set so that's at the that's at the level two of celebration products and we did out of the annual catalog we use the scalloped contour dies if you would like to purchase any of these products i will have a shop link in the description box please make sure you ask any questions in the comments i would like i would love a thumbs up and that way uh, with your engagement my video should hopefully pop up on your feed don't forget to sub subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video have a wonderful day Bye.